Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment. Drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. The only people that are bent on caging people for their own self interest is the British. It's the British. The British are the ones that are bent. They are the ones that are benefiting from everything in that zoo. The suffering you are suffering staying together. The evil you are seeing staying together. The killing you that is happening in your staying together. The bad economy that you are seeing staying together. The insecurity you are seeing staying together. The people that is favoring is the British. The West are favored. And that is why they want to maintain the status quo. That is why they made it to go. After all, they gave you police force. What they gave you is a police force. To checkmate you, to hold you down, to pin you down and make sure that you obey their instruction. And when you hear police force, that is where they police in Nigeria. Look at election day. 400,000 soldiers deported to, sent to Biafra land alone. 400,000 soldiers. But I thank you for coming today. Today, Biafran people were in their home, locked up. Go to their house and pick them up. You see why we talk about it at home? You see, as many as have sat at their home today, peacefully, they will be there until the whole thing ended. They will join the Biafra struggle and flag will be lifted. As many as have sat at their home, nothing will happen to you. You are safe and sound. Nothing will happen to you. But for those who will disobey, for those who will come and challenge their chief, whatever happens to them, they are going to be responsible for it. We will not answer for them. For every single thing you do, you will answer to yourself. When you meet Okike, you will answer. He will ask you a question and you will answer for yourself. He wouldn't say you are not told because we warned you. We told you about what will happen when it doesn't happen. It is so sad. It is so sad that there are still people, people who claim to be Biafrans, who claim, they claim to be Biafrans, but yet, they are worse than the Fulanese. They are worse than a cow. They can't even read between the line. That's what people I see today crying online. You see them lamenting and crying on their various platforms. You see them making videos and lamenting. Why are you lamenting? Why are you surprised? Just tell me, why are you surprised? All those idiots that are lamenting, tell them, since they were born, has they ever seen a credible election in Nigeria? All those people who were expecting miracle to happen, have they ever? And the worst part of it is that the same man that conducted a fraudulent election just a few years ago, he is still the same person in power. And all of a sudden, you think he will repent and favor you. The same fool and man. The same fool and man, even when Mazin Nan Nekano called off the no election because of this London board. Mazin Nan Nekano called off the election because of this same London board. The same man that rigged the election, he rigged them out, rigged, uh, rigged them out. They were rigged out. The same man that rigged that election, he is still the same person conducting that same thing today. And the same thing that happened that time is happening today and you are surprised. Are you not mad? Are you not mad? Only a mad man will be surprised of what is happening today. That is one thing with, with, that is one thing with, with the black people. Wanting with some people who claim to be Biafra, they claim to be intelligent. I don't know where you're expecting the miracle to come from. I don't know why, I don't know how all of a sudden you think that all of a sudden the, the a criminal will just wake up. It's just what you are doing is just believing that a Boko Haram member will become repentant and begin to favor you. That is just what you are doing. All these people in Biafra land who we are hoping that the Mahmoud Ainek will give them a favor. They are just like the federal government that is recruiting the Boko Haram. That is just how you are. 
You saw a man who read the election before you. He is still there. Very much available. Ready to work for his own brothers. And you think that, that he will come and feel for you. Sorry. But at least your eye have begun to open now. Your eye has begun to open. So that next time tomorrow, if you still have opportunity, when you be from people talk, you open your you you will listen. So many of them are going to be coming back. At least it, it has cleared in their eye now. So many of them are going to come back to join the struggle. Even they will beg. So many of them will beg and call our attention to back them up. Just pray. It is not a decision to make. Our supreme damazin Nandekano is still in the hand of the enemy. Our supreme leader Amazon Nandekano is in the hand of the enemy and you are jubilating, moving around. And you want us to come and participate in the election. The only people that came out were are those people that sold Mazen Nandekano, thinking that selling Mazen Nandekano will grant them an access to Asaro. But I bet you, you have made your greatest mistake in your life. The people that sold Mazen Nandekano, every single person that came out today, that came out today, say he want to cast a election, mainly from Biafra land. These are the people. Your hand is in the position of Mazen Nandekano. Anything that happens Mazen Nandekano, you will take share from it. Anybody that came out today to participate in anything called the election in Biafra land, those few of them, about 1% of them came out, these are the group of people who will share from the punishment that is going to fall on those that sold Mazen Nandekano. Because they are the ones that sold him. The supreme leader of IPOB, your own brother, your husband, your uncle, your mouthpiece, kidnapped, left in the dungeon. They abandoned him in the dungeon and they are busy focusing on the fraudulent election. And instead of you to speak loud, by sitting back, you want to play your games. May Chukwu Kukabema have mercy on all of you. But I thank Chukwu Kukabema that the Biafran today has spoken. I appreciate every Biafran man and woman that have come out, that didn't come out today, that was in their home. Every man and woman that we are in their home today to make this day a, a success. May Chukwu Kukabema guide and protect you. You will never lack. Whatever sacrifice you have made today, you will never lack. Whatever business you have lost, you are going to gain it in a thousand fold. And don't forget, the coffee starts this evening, 6 in the evening to 6 a.m. And we are going to engage. A lot is coming. It is not yet over until it is over. If you are in Biafra land, pay attention. A lot is coming. Be security conscious. The battle is not over. We have crossed the first stage. It is stage by stage. Biafrans have performed wonderfully well on this stage. And let me tell you that is watching me, anybody that is watching from. Never expect 100% from people. There is never a time everybody will come on board. But as long as we still have our 90% compliance from Biafran people, we are good to go. We are good to go and nobody, nobody will tell, sell, tell us otherwise. Even the international communities, they are watching. As long as we maintain our 19% compliance, forget about 10%, let them take it, let them take it. Forget about the 10%. Forget about it. They are meaningless. They don't matter. Biafran people in Biafra land, please pay attention. Pay attention wherever you are. Don't allow anybody to distract you. Continue to obey and listen to the voice of reason. Continue to listen to the good guy. The good guy will always lead you to goodness. The good guy will lead you to your freedom. If you are not following Master Simon Ekpa on Twitter, go to Twitter and follow Master Simon Ekpa and retweet every single tweet you see with him. Retweet it. That is the right way to go. Don't allow anybody to distract you. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. 
Don't allow anybody to tell you otherwise. We are going home. But the battle is not over. You must be security conscious wherever you are. Pay attention to every single thing that is happening in your environment going forward. Pay attention. Continue to follow the instruction that will be given to you. Those instructions will keep you safe. It will keep you safe. It will lead you until we get into our freedom. In a very short while, those people that mock you will begin to praise you. I bet you, every member of autopilot, forget about the name they call you, forget about the black, black male and the attack, very soon, every single one of them that call you a bad name, they will begin to celebrate you very soon. Very soon, they will celebrate you. Just continue to do that which you are doing. Continue to do what you are doing. They will celebrate you. Certainly, they will. No weapon formed or fashion against any one of us will prosper. The Biafra people have spoken and the world have watched and listened. And they heard us and heard us well. And I bet you, they are going to come to our aid. We are not part of the zoo and we never be. We are not part of their one Nigeria and we never be. No matter the blackmail you see from them, no matter the propaganda, no matter the kind of words you see coming out from them, don't get distracted. Don't. We have come a long way. We have come a long way. Our Supreme Damazin Nandi can have led a powerful foundation. I always repeat this word, repeat it, so that you can know where we are coming from. Mazin Nande Khan remains the leader of this struggle, wherever he is. And our spokesperson, Mazin Simon Eber, continue to speak for Biafran people until Mazin Nande Khan joins us. Any other person that is parading himself, whatever he calls himself or herself, it doesn't matter. These are the two people you must listen to. Mazen Nandekano told us to listen to Mazen Simon Epa, share his videos. And that is why every one of us today is lining up behind him, supporting him, holding his hand up to make sure he doesn't get weak. He is one person and he needs to be supported. Tough decisions have been taken. And Mazen Simon Epa, because of his mental softness and wisdom, he has been able to take excellent decisions so far. Every decision he has taken has turned out to work out for us for good. Every decision he has taken has worked out for good for Biafran people. All you have to do is to embrace him, love him, and pray for him. If you are a Biafran and you are still wishing Mazi Simon Epa evil, I will not pray for you. What I'm going to tell you is that let that thing you wish for him happen to you. Whatever you wish for Master Simon Epa will definitely, definitely happen to you, whether you like it or not. Anything you wish him will definitely bounce back to you. We have come a long way. And our victory is very, very close. Do not allow anybody to take your position. Do not allow anybody to distract you. Do not allow anybody to interrupt you. Do not allow anybody to come in your way. At this time that we are in, it is not a time to look back. <laughs> you know, for a very long time, Mazen Nan, they kind of have said that we have crossed the Rubicon. You don't know how strong that word is. If we have crossed the Rubicon by 2015, now, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? If you think that we will, we, will, we will walk back from where we have gotten to, you are a joker. We are walking out of the zoo. And the movement has begun. We will march until the end. The only thing you have to do, the best thing you will do for yourself, is to pay attention. Pay attention to Master Simon Epa. Pay attention to all the autopiloted platform. Every information you hear from them, don't take it for a joke. Take it serious. And put it in practice. When you hear go, go. You hear sit, sit. Pay attention to every single thing that is happening in your area. Be security conscious. This is not the time to celebrate. This is not the time to marry. This is not the time to walk about unnecessarily. 
we have started very, very excellently. We have started well. And as we have started well, we are going to end it well. We'll end it well. It doesn't matter the attack. It doesn't matter the blackmail. It doesn't matter the pro they will black more blackmail will come. More blackmail is come. You know they have the media. Both the international media, they have everything, they have all the money, they have all the equipment. They have it. But Chukuoka Kabe handed over the social media. And we cannot allow them to intimidate us as long as we are in the social media. We can't allow them to pull us back. We will continue to fight until the last man standing and we're going to defeat them. Let them keep trying. Let them keep trying. No matter how they try, they will never ever defeat the army of Chukukabia. The engagement is going to start. Any place you are, I beg you in the name of Chukukabia, pay attention and sit at home with your family. Continue to enjoy your offense salad. Continue to enjoy your offense salad and listen to the next instructions. Listen to instructions. Pay attention. I am going to try as much as possible to disseminate uh, uh, information on this very platform. Any information I, I come across, I will send it on the very platform and you'll get it. Just pay attention. And as you join, you share. Don't just keep it. When you get the information, share it to your friends, family, neighbors, even our enemies. Share. Don't keep it to yourself. Share. Let the whole world see us and hear our own side of the story. That's what you got to do. We are going home. And no man one of a woman can stop us no man one of a woman will deny us our freedom you can't no matter how you try you can never ever take away our freedom from us because we are free born we didn't create ourselves we are free born and you cannot just come and take away our freedom Whatever we are doing today, it is not out of wickedness. It is not out of strife. It's not because we are proud. What we are doing today is because our life is in danger. It is because we have been made an endangered species in a country supposedly ours. In our own land. In our own land, they come to our land, they take away our wealth. As if that is not enough. Now they are coming for our land. They have been taking our resources for a very long time, doing whatever they want to do with it. That is not enough. Now they are coming from our land. And you know what it means when you are coming from somebody's land? You cannot take the property of somebody who is still alive. You can't. A man cannot be alive and you walk into his house and take his property. It doesn't happen that way. So when they are coming for our property, you know they are coming for our life. That is why we have become an endangered species in that country called Nigeria. And we must get out. That is the only way we can feel protected. As long as we continue to remain with these people, as we continue to remain in this evil entity, we will never be safe. We will never be safe. The only place we can find safety is where we are heading, Biafra. Remember what our eternal leader, Adumbe Gujuku, said. That Biafra is a place where people that are oppressed go into and they are saved. It is not just Biafra. Biafra is a place where people go, oppressed people run to for safety that is why when we are talking about biafra we are talking about biafra with passion we know the danger ahead we know what is coming so we want to try as much as possible to create that place we are people who have been oppressed we run to and they will be safe it is not about the name it is not about the name it is about the description what are we looking for it is about freedom freedom People to have the freedom and their rights. People will have rights for us to have our right and freedom. That is what it's all about. We are tired of being dehumanized, being called names, being tagged one thing or the other. In a country where we are supposed to be part of, it's happened again and again and again and continue to happen. And it's not going to stop. It has graduated to the extent of now taking over the land, to run the land over. That is what they are planning. And this run over is not only being planned by the Fulani Caliphate. They are using the government apparatus to make sure they overtake the whole Biafra land. That's what they are trying to do. And I thank Chukwokukai and Amazin Nandekano saw this long time ago before now. 
Mazim Nandekano saw this coming long before now. And he started on time to sensitize us. He started on time to call our attention. He started on time to tell us, watch out, watch out, watch out. But some people didn't pay attention. But today, I thank you, Koku Kabiam, that here are we today. Here are we today. We can speak. We can stand our ground. We can pursue a track of freedom. And I tell you, our freedom is coming. If you are a Biafran, pay more attention, be vigilant. Freedom is coming. Nothing can stop it this time. Nothing. Don't be deceived. Nothing can stop it. Freedom is coming and we are going home. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We are going home. No amount of propaganda or blackmail will stop it. No. The only thing you have to do for yourself as a Biafran is to prepare. Prepare within your own self. Whatever challenges you meet ahead will be overcome every one of them. There is nothing we, that will happen today that has not happened in the past. There is no situation that Biafrans have not encountered. We have encountered all the tragic situations you can think about. And today, here are we. The only thing we are moving to towards today is to walk away from the Zoological Republic. And I bet you we are going to walk away and have a nation where we will be proud to call ourselves citizens. Have a nation that we can defend. Have a nation that we can be patriotic to. That is our desire as Biafran. And no man born of a woman can deny us that. I appreciate every one of you that have paid attention on this very platform today. I appreciate every one of you that has supported me on this very broadcast from beginning to the end. Wherever you are watching from, I say, may Chukwo Kukabi Ama continue to guide and protect you. Please, I urge you, in the name of Chukwo Kukabi Ama, wherever you are, remain obedient. Obedient to the word of our spokesperson, Master Simon Ekpa. I'm not talking about a London boy. When I say obedient, obedient to our spokesperson, Master Simon Ekpa, the spiritual son of Master Nandekano. We must have to listen to him. If you are not on Twitter, try as much as possible to open a Twitter account and follow Master Simon up on Twitter so that you can retweet every tweet he has tweeted and you can be getting the real information of things. Because if you're on Twitter, you will not be deceived. People will not go and give you propaganda or give you a lie. Because you know, you can never get facts from Nigerian media. Never, ever. Nigerian media will never report facts for you. What you see in Nigerian media is only doctored videos lies others that are being given to them from Asorok that's what they broke up for you what Asorok, Asorok told them to tell you that's what they, what the caliphate arranged and tell them to tell the people that's what they do there is no independent media in Nigeria not even one no single independent media in Nigeria that was why Masi Samanaka was broadcasting live making a broadcast why AIT was saying that he's arrested AIT was saying he arrested why he was making a broadcast that is how bad the zoo is. They train fraudsters. They breed fraud. They make sure they push their children into fraud. That is why all over the world you see people scattered all over the world engaging in one crime or the other. All thanks to the Zoological Republic that is pushing them into those crimes. We will end it. We will end it and build a, a sane nation where people can be able to reason fine. Where people can aspire anything they want to aspire to and get it. Where people will know the value of education. Where the people will know the value of hard work. That is a nation we want to create. And that nation will be born very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you are watching from Biafra land, from Asia, from Europe, from America, from Australia, from New Zealand. I say, may Chukwo Kukabi Magad and protect you. May Chukwo Kukabi Magad and protect all the Biafran people, all the Ududua people, all the Middle Bertans. May Chukwo Kukabi Magad and protect our ESN, the Liberation Army. May Chukwo Kukabi Magad and protect them and secure them. May Chukwo Kukabi Magad and protect every armed group that is fighting for Biafra, wherever they are. May Chukwo Kukabi Magad and protect every one of you. Secure you, guide you, protect you. May Chukwu Okukabi Magad and protect our media warriors, the Umuanda that are doing great work on daily basis. 
may chukwu kama gran protect them secure the humada secure our media warriors fight for them and protect them defend them from all attacks may chukwu kama gran and protect our spokesperson master Simon Eva. may chukwu kama gran and protect him secure him build a wall of fire around him no weapon formed of fire against him shall prosper May Chukwu Okuka be my guide and protect our supreme leader Mazen Nandekano wherever he is. We commit Mazen Nandekano in the hand of Chukwu Okuka for grace, for divine grace, for divine protection, for divine victory, for divine health. May Chukwu Okuka be my continue to give him more spiritual revelations and guidance on the way forward. No weapon formed of fashion against the Biafran people shall prosper. No weapon formed of fashion against Mazen Samuel shall prosper. No weapon formed of fashion against Mazin Nandikam shall prosper. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. I remember this. See you again.